Hey guys, so I'm going to teach you how to spice up some clothespins or office clips. I wanted to say sorry. I would have had a bunch of back to school videos, but my computer broke and I got sick practically all summer. And yeah, it just didn't turn out. So I'm going to still try during um, school um, to do these videos and stuff for you guys. So here's how they look. You could just get your office clips. You have them lying around. You want to revamp them. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get it in the sunlight. Can you guys see them? So you could just put some duct tape on it and revamp them and they look really awesome. So I just used some graffiti tape. Then you could just cut out small pieces of duct tape and decorate it on your clothespins. Use pattern duct tape or even write stuff on it like math for your um, school stuff. So you could put it in your notebook and just have it like on your notebook and then you could be like, oh, that's for math. And yeah, so these are the um, stuff I'm going to teach you guys how to do. And let's get started on with the tutorial. So depending on if you guys are going to want to use um, clothespins or these kind of clips, pick one of those. So you're going to need those. Um, a Sharpie's optional, a permanent marker, a box cutter, scissors, and some duct tape, and a cutting surface. I'm going to start with the um, clothespin first. I also forgot to mention a pair of pliers come in handy. If you don't have any, it's okay. You could do it without them too. So like right here would be awesome if you could just use your pliers and pull it out. But if you can't, it's okay. You just like that. You see what I did? I just like pushed it out. This metal part. And then like this. Just be really careful because it likes to, um, you know, like snap out at you. So you're going to need this piece. So set that aside. And what you're going to do with these two is with your duct tape lay them out and leave some extra space and cut out duct tape so then take your first duct tape piece you have right here and just lay your um, clothes pin on top of it then with your um, scissors or knife you could just cut these little boxes around because you don't want them to overlap and your clothes pin not to be sealed all the way so that's why we do this I, sh I love these non-stick scissors I bought okay so you just go like this fold it in push down on these things so you could see the mark for when you put your um, metal thing back so like that then on this side you just fold it like so and then if you got stuff on the side you could cut it off or just go like this and smooth it over and remember to leave those spots then this right here you could just push it down then now with this tape you're gonna fold it over like that so you won't have any um, edges like this but if you cut your box out a little bit too um, big, like you left a big space, then you could just trim it. So then you just fold this in. Okay, guys, this could get really complicated if you don't watch careful. You might have to watch a couple times. So when I said do this crease thing, it's because it's really going to come in handy. Because without it being like wood, it's like naked like this, you could tell. But with the duct tape on, you're all confused. So basically, you're going to look at your other one as an example. So your two big sides are going to be right here, like this, see? The two big sides are going to be right here. The two small sides like this. And then, you know how it's got like this big bump swerve? Well, you're going to have it be flat on both sides, so the big bump swerve thingy is on the inside. And then, in here, you're going to like push down, and you should see this um, like little hollow part. And that's where you're going to put this guy. It's going to go right in here. So your pliers could come in handy now to, like, you know, help you out. But I personally don't like to. So I'm just going to put it on the back. And where this is right here, you see the crease I kind of made right there? You're just going to push it in. And then this is going to go in. If you could see, and you see that thing right there where the bump should be? That's where it's on right now. And then the bump is right here again, so you could put that on top right here. And then, if you want, you could use your pliers to um, lift this up. 
and put it on top. But I don't like to because sometimes if you could see it messes up the metal. So I'm just going to use my fingers and like pull it up like this. And then where that thing is I made, be careful not to cut in the duct tape. And you just like push it up right there. Push this side and push that side. And try to make everything nice, straight, and even. And if you get stuff like this because it scratches it, you could always fix it with a piece of duct tape and overlap it. And if you also forgot to mention for the um, clothespins one, you could get a little bunch of pieces of like scrap tape or little bits of duct tape with your scissor and cut it to small pieces and put it on to give it this kind of a look if you're into that. So now on to making um, your guys is duct tape clip so you're just gonna measure how long your thing is with your duct tape and you're gonna cut it down to size so you're gonna cut it twice once for this side one for the other one and a little bit of a longer piece for your top part so now you guys are gonna need to take these out so you're gonna just um, squeeze it like really tight and then take them out so then you just get your duct tape so let me zoom in. You're just gonna put this in here. And try to get it all the way in there. I'm gonna adjust mine, but I'm gonna get my tape more in there. So you just put it on like this, and then you're gonna cut little squares so you guys are gonna have your tapes on the side like that if you couldn't fold it in you're just gonna put these back so you squeeze it and then you put it back in the holes like that you just open it like this and just fold in your duct tape so do that for each side Just fold that in. Be careful not to let it close on your finger. So once you got that, and once you do that, now you're just gonna fold your duct tape over. So then everything's nice and sealed. Then you can't fold the side ones in yet because you have to squeeze again. Just if you guys want to know how to make these, you could use an empty tuna fish can and clean it out. I got the idea off Pinterest, but instead, I'm just going to use an empty duct tape roll. So if you use an empty um, roll of some kind of tape, mine took 17, so you're going to need that. And if you want, with a cereal box, you could trace a circle and glue it on the bottom, but I don't find I need to. And then you could just use it as like a cup to hold your supplies and stuff or pens but I don't you could use it as a candle holder holder as well and cut out a circle this size and glue it like right here and then put on a fake meaning like this it's just like a cardboard cereal box you could have just like um glued it right there or you could even use duct tape if you want your background to be a duct tape color by all means do it and fold over your access and everything but I'm just gonna be putting the clothespins on directly like this because I like the rustic look. So you're just gonna keep on putting on your clothespins down all the way. So go ahead and start with this. So now once you do that, you want to make sure you're pushing aside. You have no room to put it inside. So I'm gonna go around and just like push it back. So there we go, that's more real. I'm just gonna push this one in. Try to get all the way down, just all the way to the anyway. So then there you go, I'm just gonna make one piece on my back. I can make your little um, close pens pencil cup. It looks really cool. Like I said, you're gonna have to take a little bit extra time to adjust that to make it look cool. And you just put in like your. Ooh, it's open. I gotta close it. You just put in your whatever stuff you like in there. And I thought it looked really cool and it's different. So there's those three little quick DIYs, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and please stay tuned for more.
Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I forgot to mention the clothespins cup idea goes to Pinterest since I saw it on there. I don't want to take credit for that. But anyways, yeah, I hope your cup and your eclipse came out awesome like these guys. And yeah, please stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be trying to do a lot more back to school ones. Sorry, I'm all right here. The light things in my face, so there we go. But yeah, so I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm going to be shooting an origami star series um, of just or different kind of origami stars. I'm going to teach you guys how to make. And I give credit to most of them, to Pinterest and other people. I'll be doing that in other videos. But this one goes to Pinterest. I thought these are really cool for you.